All right, we uh, had the request to do a little more advanced way of ending the game with the win. So I'm going to build off of what we talked about before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that the only way the hero can win is if they unlocked the treasure chest and get the treasure out. If they try to collide with the treasure chest and it's locked, nothing will happen, okay? So in order to do that, we're actually gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna create two separate objects. One is the chest that is locked. The other is the one that's, that is unlocked, okay? We are only gonna place the locked treasure chest in the final room. And then when we collide with that treasure chest, okay? Uh, actually, there's going to be no collision with the treasure chest, but if the treasure chest that's unlocked, if we collide with it, we're going to win. But the only way we can get that treasure chest open is if we can collect the key first. So what's going to happen is that when we collide with the key, we're going to switch the two objects. The treasure chest is now going to become the unlocked treasure chest. Okay, And so we're going to code this. So this is a little complex, so I might even get it wrong the first time, but we're going to try it anyway. So we're going to start by creating all of our, all of our objects. So I've got a treasure chest, but I'm going to rename it to treasure chest locked. Click OK. And I'm going to create another, I'm actually going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to give it the name OPJ underscore treasure chest or chest unlocked. And I'm going to change the sprite to the open. Oh, I guess it was called open. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, so now I've got two objects here. I've got my hero. I've got a key. Okay. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to try one thing out first and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm just going to try this out here. Here's the idea. If there's a collision with the key, so I'm going to add an event. It's a collision. It's with the key. Now, I'm going to go to this control, which is a question. This question is to test the instance count. So here's the deal. I'm going to make this pretty uh, uh, obvious here. The first thing I want to do when I collide with the key is I want to destroy the instance. Okay, so I'm going to destroy the instance. I'll destroy itself. Okay, and now I'm going to try this out. This might not work. At this point, once it's destroyed, um, I'm going to want to... Uh, I'm going to see if this works here. I'm going to test the instance count over here. I want to find out how many keys there are in the room. Okay, so I'm going to see if... The count of keys in the room is equal to zero. Click OK. So when I destroy the key, I want to find out, was that the last key or not? If it was, this is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to change the instance. I want to change a different object. Oh, I should do, uh, yeah, object, chest locked, OK? I'm going to change it into chest opened. Click OK. So you see what I did there? Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to destroy the instance. I want to destroy the instance of the other. I want to destroy the instance of the key. That's going to be key here, but let's just, oh, you get it? It's going to, never mind. OK, anyway. Okay, we're here in the room. There's the door. Let's get the treasure chest locked. We'll put it here. We'll get our key. We'll put it there. Okay, and let's go ahead and try it. And let's try running it. And I'm going to try to go to that door. And apparently I can go through the wall still. Okay, here we go. See the treasure chest at the top. It is locked. See the sparkly key. I collide. Yes, it worked.
Okay, you need to know this. Okay, so you collide with the key, treasure chest gets open. Now I can go into the treasure chest. Now if you really want to be evil, <laughs> if you want to be evil, you can have another object that is, once that chest is open, it starts stepping towards the open treasure chest. And if it gets there before you do, it gets the treasure. You don't. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, but here it is. Let's recap what I did. When my hero collides with the key, I destroy the instance, but this is crucial. I want to destroy the other object. I want the key gone. So that's what other does. See, apply action to the other object. Now, once I destroy the key, I want to check to see if the number of instants is equal to zero. If there are no more key instances, then we're going to take the object treasure chest locked and we're going to change it into object chest opened. We could perform an event too if we wanted it, we don't. So guys, that's change instance. It's the blue to the red saying change our object. Okay. There's also one that allows you to change sprite down here. Okay, now watch what's cool about this. I'm gonna go to my room and I'm gonna add more keys. And the way this should work is that that room won't open until, or that treasure chest shouldn't open until all the keys have been collected. That's why we test the count to see if it's equal to zero. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to take advantage of that, 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 oh, ha, ha, the ghost can do nothing, ha, ha. All right, I collide with one key, it's gone, treasure chest is still locked. Next key is gone, treasure chest is still locked. I have to collect all the keys. And only when I collide with the last one is the treasure chest unlocked. Now, my collision with the treasure chest unlocked does nothing, so let's fix that. And there's our more complicated way to end the program. So, we go to our object hero. If, now, look at this. When I collide with the object treasure chest locked, it says display message, which is you found the treasure, you're my hero, way to go. I show the high scores table. I ask if they want to play again. If they answer yes, I restart the game. Otherwise, we end the game. That's a collision with the treasure chest. Watch this. I, I want to change the event to a collision with the chest opened. Now, when I collide with the open chest, I get all that awesomeness, right? Otherwise, if I collide with the treasure chest and it's locked, watch what I do instead. I'm gonna display some information. Oops. It looks like the treasure chest is locked. Did you get all the keys? Hit, 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 push, push, nudge, nudge, say no more. Now let's test it out. Okay, remember, this is with the locked treasure chest. We display the message. If it's unlocked, we win. Try it most triumphantly, Ted. Or Bill, whoever. Excellent. Or Jerry. Or Harry. All right, one more time. Ha ha ha, ghost, you can't catch me. Because you have to avoid the walls and I don't. All right, here I go. Look, treasure chest. Oh, giddy. Oh, no, it looks like the treasure chest is locked. Did you get all the keys? Oops. Guess what I forgot to do? Yeah, that's a mess. And so I'm going to have to control alt delete and close this stupid thing. It's annoying. Control alt delete, start task manager. 
I want to end the maze game. This one, not the game maker. End it. Please, kids, if you don't have administrator privilege, don't attempt to try it. Don't do this. Don't have it display a message. Hold on. Only. If you collide with an action, if you collide with an object and the action is display a message, you can never get out of it. It's an infernal internal loop. So once you display the message, this is what I recommend you do. Go to main. No. Go to move. Yes. Go to jump. I want you to jump to a position, to a self. I want you to put negative 50, check relative. It's going to jump you back. Uh, not even 50 is necessary. We'll jump back like 20 pixels to the left. I hope that's going to work. You know what? Maybe the better thing to do would be to cancel that and just jump to the start. Click OK. There is none. Yep. So let's try it one last time. If it works, we're good. We're golden. We got it. No thank. Uh, no no money is necessary. Thanks are all I like. Okay. Well, okay. I do like money and coffee. All right. Here I go. So oh, looks like it's locked. Did you get all the keys? Oh, we have to restart. Cool. See, the reason why I didn't want to move them 50 pixels to the left is what if I got it from here? That would have caused problems. Hey, there we go. And this works. Found the treasure. You're my hero. Way to go. Look, high scores table. Me. Me, 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 me. Enter. Would you like to play again? No. Done and done her. There we go.